if you're trying to ask me to be your friend or your girlfriend, just say that. Like, clothes just started what? coming over. 14 and 17. Wow. Grab me. Push me against the door. And we started making it out. Damn. Y'all getting busy up in here, huh? Y'all know the banana be busting, so don't even look at me like that. Don't, don't do it. Don't, I see you. Don't, don't do it. What is good, YouTube man? Welcome back to another video, man. Welcome back to another banger, man. And oh my God, I don't even know if I'm like, I don't even know if I'm mentally ready for this video. Like, like mentally ready. Like I'm talking about ment, like, like seriously to the point that I can even speak on this. Like, oh my God, bro. We are back with another story time because y'all been bugging me for another one. We went crazy on the other one. For me, like I didn't even know y'all like my story times like that. Like I know it's a Netflix series, you feel me? But damn, and I know I may be sounding a little bit like Chris Sale Ooh. today, and it's only cause I'm sick. You feel me? I'm a little sick. I ain't gonna lie. Now I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you've seen the title, you already know this is ten times freakier than the last one. If you got this video on the, on the TV screen around your mama, take off the video. Take take it off. Take it off. You're gonna get me caught up. Take it off. But enough being said, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. We gonna go ahead and get straight into the story time, man. Let's go. All right, so boom, this all started in the summertime. You already know how it goes with the whole summer. Every summer, I just had like a whole new thing going on. I just had a new story to tell. Something crazy would go down every single summer. It just be, bro, it be kinky season, you feel me? It be, it be kinky season. But look, man, I was around, let's say, I would say about, now around this time, I would say, mm, 14. I was around 14 around there. Maximum 15, but I'm pretty sure I was 14 years old. And, bro, I promise y'all I'm not a freak. But, like, bro, for some reason, at a young age, I would just be doing shit, bro. Like, my life would just be crazy. I will be experiencing stuff that you supposed to experience, like, at 16, 17 like so I'm gonna go ahead and give the girl a name mm, let's give her Stephanie I, I, I choose Stephanie for me Stephanie destiny we 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 combining for me we combine like always man you already know man I will be in the parties in the yard in the summertime for me summertime it's just that time it's that time to go out it's that time to meet people it's that time to get the biddies if you want to get you some biddies get them in the summertime like pay, pay attention to me for me cuddling and all that is for winter but all that other stuff all that acting kinky is for the summertime. This one time in the summertime, I went ahead and I decided to go to a yard. You feel me? A little party. Little, hey, get sturdy. Oh. Get sturdy. Oh. He needs get, some get, milk. Get, you feel me? Every time I get a call, yo, we got to a party. I was in that, bro. I'm not staying home, bro. I was in that. Those were more of my youngin' days. You feel me? The days where, like, for me, you will be bored in your crib and you you try to get out, bro. Like, when you young at that age, bro, you're gonna be going out a lot. Now I really don't because I got shit to do and I got priorities. But back then, young and dead, I was wild. And I ain't even had a strat yet. Oh, God. Bruh. Yeah, you heard that. I ain't even had a strat yet. I ain't even had a... The Glock 46, you feel me? I don't even know if that's a gun, bro. The Ooh. Glock 46 a gun? Bro, my camera done died on y'all too, man. They don't want me to tell y'all this story time. But look, man, my intentions weren't even to get in that. But I would still get in there. I didn't have the sauce, but I had the sauce. You feel me? Now, a lot of the people that I went to the parties with, they were always older than me because I ended up being, I think it was like in eighth grade or ninth grade. All of my friends are older than me. Till this day, most of my friends are all older than me. Since I was hanging around the big doors, I had to become a big door. I couldn't just stay all in the back you feel me acting like a little youngin'. That's a tip for all my youngins. Watching this video and there's a shorty that you like and all that, bro. Even if you know you scared, bro, go for it, bro. Do what you gotta do, bro. Like, just act like you like that even if you're not, bro. Eventually, you will end up taking that confidence. Confidence and you will end up doing what you gotta do, bro. So, boom, we get to the party, you feel me? We seeing a whole lot of people, you feel me? The first thing I do when I step in the, you feel me? When I step in the, in the floor is I observe, you feel me? You gotta observe. The reason why you gotta observe is because you gotta see who's your target for the night. Bro, remember that. The target for the night. Whenever you go to a party, remember that. Target for the night. Now, what I mean by target for the night is you observing and looking around for the shorty that you gonna go and shoot that, that three-pointer. You feel me? I'm not gonna lie, me. I, I was shooting from deep. Stephen Curry in that in that bit. You feel me? I was making all shots, bro. No matter if they were 20, 30, shit. I take it real. You know what I'm saying? I was not playing. So after I did all my little observations, standing on the wall, looking all like. 
like a detective and shit. I went ahead and I, you feel me, I peeped somebody, caught my eye. And I don't know why she did. My height is like this, and she was like this. Like, why, why was I even looking that way? I'm not saying that about tall girls. I'm, I'm a whole, I'm a whole aunt, and she's a giraffe. Plank was SpongeBob, and she was Mr. Krabs' daughter. That, that was not gonna work out, but it still ended up work, bro. I got the sauce, bro. Come on, look at me, look at me. <laughs> so I went ahead, I soothed over to the shorty for me. She was sitting in the couch. I went and I sat my ass right next to her. I was all like, Stop, what you doing in this party, man? Mind you, we are still from New York. So Shorty's response was all like, I don't really know. I'm just chilling. Like, I'm really not trying to do too much right now. I'm kind of tired and stuff. But I mean, what you trying to do? Like, what you trying to do? Like, you trying to get together? Like, what you trying to do? 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 Like, Team. But you know me, you feel me? I'm trying to keep it clear. You gotta stick with the code, stick with the skirt. I couldn't sit here and let up, not in front of no shorty. So here's where it gets a little more intriguing. We start getting a little, little, little shifty, little shots of you, feel me? Mind you, they're all grown. Like these people about to be 18, and I'm literally 14. And I wasn't even like, I, I don't want to even drink. Girl, and me, we end up having a very good connection like shorty was just feeling my vibe i was feeling her vibe so you feel me you know what happened right word you already know we ended up kissing bro like we ended up kissing and we did not care like we was kissing right on the couch it really was getting to that point where we was just like f it bro everybody was doing their own thing so we just started making out right on the couch after a while bro like mind you this was a private house you feel me we are not in no building we not in no outside party we are in a private house so shorty ended up grabbing my hand for me mind you we are in a private house i look like plankton she look like mr Krabs' door so she grabbing me i look like her child bro literally her child walking upstairs bro i don't know where we was going i don't know why i even let it happen because you're not supposed to be doing that bro and you see spy doing that don't do it don't act like me be better than me, okay? I thought she was about to take me to the bathroom. I don't know why. Don't ask my freaky ass. But her freaky ass was thinking something more than me. So we ended up going up the stairs. And she dragged me into a room that's pitch black. I'm all like, yo, yo, yo. Yo, where we at? <laughs> where we, what we doing? This girl going to turn on her whole flashlight. She ends up dragging me, literally. Boom, by the shirt. I flew, like, I literally flew, bro. She grabbed me, pushed me against the door. And we started making out again. Things was escalating laid into another clothes just started coming off that's 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 crazy 14 to 17 wow clothes started coming off don't ask what pieces don't ask who just know it was about to go down you feel me and me as a 14 year old in my head i'm thinking what am i gonna do now the only little experience that i ever had was the time that i was in the amc that's all i had bro so in my head i'm thinking please don't tell me we about to go through another fish market i don't want to do it like i was really thinking in my head bro i don't want to go through another fish market a whole lot of things is just going down, you feel me? Like, I, I don't even know how to explain it, man. We just was on a bed. I don't know whose bed. I don't know why we were in the room. I don't even know she locked the door, bro. Like, anybody could have walked in at any certain point in time. Like, I, bro, damn. Damn, it's somebody else's bed. That's crazy right there. But look, I'm not going to go too much into detail about what happened at that moment. But just know it did not go that far because of what's about to happen. So, boom. I'm going to try to picture this as best as I can for you guys. The door is right here. Right when you walk in through the room door, the bed is right here. So, anybody, literally anybody that could have walked in could have straight up seen us. And the bed is a high bed. So, right on the floor, you feel me? Like, for you to look at the floor, you had to, like, hunch over type shit. You feel me? Literally look over to see what was on the floor. Mind you, the room is pitch black, so we could not see anything, barely. That little flashlight that she had 
was not doing no justice. We getting into action, you feel me? A whole lot of stuff is going on. Mind you, I'm 14, so I'm thinking in my head, I'ma just do what I gotta do. This is my first experience, you feel me? Like, let's just let's just make it happen. And right when I was getting my little hopes up, I was gonna be a proud, I don't even know what, to be honest. Just a proud stud, you feel me? Right when I thought, boom, I'm official, you feel me? I'm there, I'm stamped. Man, man, man. Tell me why some random guy, I don't know who he was. Like, why are you in a pitch black room when there's a whole party happening downstairs? He came up off the floor like this. Damn, y'all getting busy up in here, huh? Like, what? Bro, what do you do? What, what? Bro, there was literally a guy on the floor, laying on the floor. Why? So we literally got caught up while we were on somebody else's bed in somebody else's house with a random guy laying on the floor so you can see how extreme that party was. And he want to pop up out of nowhere talking about, damn, y'all getting busy over here, huh? Right after all that happened, I don't know how she felt, but me, I was embarrassed, sad, mad, horny shit. I had all these emotions just clumped off as a youngin' man, and she just stand up, put her clothes on, and she walked straight out the door. And when I went home, and I took my phone to check up on her, she had blocked me.